What's up everybody, Ricky Carruth here. Look, today I wanna to talk about the coronavirus, its effect on the real estate market, and what you need to be doing right now until this is over. And check out all these Remax signs I gotta throw away. Horrible, isn't it? So I just did a walkthrough on a condo we're closing tomorrow, 500,000, I got both sides of that. I'm closing another one Wednesday. Friday I did the video on the one that almost got away, the $90,000 commission where the buyer almost walked away over the coronavirus. But we did close it. I'm going to do a video tomorrow when I pick that check up. Now I've been getting all kinds of messages from you guys saying, should we circle prospect during this coronavirus scare? All the schools are shut down, a lot of businesses are shut down, people are just staying home. Should we circle prospect? Should we continue going on with business as normal? And the answer is yes. Look, here's the thing. The coronavirus may cause real estate to slow down. It might not. We don't know what's gonna happen. Prices could adjust, prices could go down. If prices go down at all, Houses and condos and property is gonna be so easy to sell. Okay, if prices go down at all, condos, houses, land, it's all gonna be so easy to sell because there's so many people on the sidelines waiting for prices to go down. So please do not be scared of this. If it does get bad enough where prices go down and adjust, that's gonna make it easier for us to sell these properties. This reminds me of 2010 when the BP oil spill hit and everybody got so scared. And I remember telling the agents in my office, just stay calm, continue calling your clients, calling new property owners, telling them what's going on and helping them through whatever it is that they wanna do during this crisis. So either way it goes here, if the coronavirus flattens out and the market gets back to normal, great. If it affects the market in a, an incredibly negative way, that's okay too, because prices will adjust to the price that people will continue to buy. And let me tell you, people have a lot of money. There's still a lot of cash on the sideline. You gotta get out there and line your investors up and have them ready in case that happens. Now, as far as circle prospecting, we're gonna still continue to call. Okay, we're looking to build relationships, see what we can do to help people. We're gonna say, hey, Mr. Johnson. Hey, Mr. Johnson, this is Ricky Cruth, the local real estate agent. How are you doing today? Good, me too. I'm just staying inside, trying to stay away from all this craziness out there. It's nuts, isn't it? See, that's how I would adjust my script. And it doesn't have to be exactly like that but we're gonna adjust my circle prospecting script found at zerodiamond.com to fit the current situation to have that conversation in a low pressure manner. We're gonna throw them off. We're not gonna talk about real estate in the beginning and then we're gonna slide right into real estate. Hey, well look, I don't wanna take up too much of your time, but a house around the corner just sold from you. Didn't know if there's anything in the world I could do for you. See how easy that is? See, you can take the circle prospecting script and alter it to whatever's going on in the market, in the world, whatever's happening, you can adjust the script to whatever it is and you can continue to make calls and build the relationships that you need to build your business. So the main thing today is, is I don't want you guys to freak out. I want you to stay busy. If you're quarantined and you're at the house and you can't leave, make calls. This is a great time to make calls. Everybody's at home. They have nothing to do except for answer the phone and talk to you about the real estate market. So stay on the phone. This is when you gobble up so much market share. When all the other agents are freaking out and, and not doing anything, they don't know what to do. This is when we make our calls and we meet more property owners who will do business with us now or later. I hope that helps. Hit that thumbs up, click that subscribe, shoot me a comment, let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tune in as I pick up the largest single check that I've ever picked up in my life. Let's go.